Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Well, good morning, good morning, everybody. We are still at the Fly and J up here in Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, I'm going to go have me some breakfast. I posted yesterday that I was going to be here overnight and uh, on Facebook. And uh, here I am, going to go have me some breakfast. Nobody really came out and said they want to join me for breakfast today, but eh, that's all right. We'll go have breakfast anyways. So we'll uh, see you down the road. Well guys, we have just finished breakfast and uh, now I am ready for a shower. You can probably see I had me a haircut up here in Edmonton, Alberta at the Flying J. Well, not the one that's on the east side of uh, Edmonton, but the one that's towards the west side of uh, Edmonton. They have a salon and they're usually Monday to I guess Friday they're open and so I got me a haircut So we're gonna look more professional now. Yes, we're not gonna look any better, but we're gonna look professional At least that's that's the goal anyways <laughs> So let's go get my clothes and have a shower. All ready We are ready to roll We got ourselves a reload offer already Picking up a load up here in uh, Edmonton. We just got to go drop this trailer at the uh, thermal terminal up here in Edmonton and then bobtail over to our reload location. You know what this guy is doing, but I guess he decided to pull out himself too. Anyways. We got ourselves a reload and uh, on a bobtail over to our reload location and then we'll uh, pick up our reload and go back to Winnipeg. That was the original plan anyways to do that. Because I wanted to go back because I'm a low on hours, so I need to go back home. And then I want to get my truck into the shop and get that front end uh, put new seals in there. So that way I don't have no more oil seeping through. It's not actually leaking. But it's just seeping through and it's it's just gonna get worse anyways so <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I figured I may as well just get it fixed and uh, be done with it. Yep, before the summer summer is officially here. Usually the first week in uh, June we got uh, DOT blitz, like DOT inspections going on all the time, so I want to get it done before then, so that way I can uh, at least have it done and if I'm getting an, uh, an inspection, that way I know I definitely won't be in any problem, you know, I won't have any problems, you know. And anyways, I'm going to try and get across the slide here. Only about a mile down the road here, that's where our terminal is, or actually a mile and a half, so we'll go do our trailer drop and bob till over to our reload location and see if we uh, if they have our load ready to go. It said it's supposed to be ready at one and it's only
only quarter after 12, so I figure I go drop the trailer. And that always takes a little bit of time too, and then it's another two miles back to the reload location. Or In one kilometer, or turn left right, 909 Avenue. Yep. Anyways, let's go do that, and then we'll be back. This is our terminal. This is where we got to drop our trailer. Man, oh man. Ooh, this is not good at all. Oh well, we got to do it. I guess it's definitely going to be worth it going to go wash my truck when I'm when I'm back home, you know. Ooh, smoke. I'm just about getting stuck up here. Boy, hopefully I don't get myself stuck in here, you know. Alrighty guys, we have finished picking up our reload. We got out of that shithole there, no problem. At least this time, we were lucky. We got out of there with no problem. But as I was going in there, I just about got stuck in there. I was spinning in there, you know. But luckily we got out of there. And now we picked up our load and putting the hammer down back to Winnipeg. Yeah. Continue on this road for 388 kilometers. That's good. Talking to Mr. Barry earlier. And he's up there in Calgary and he said it's snowing up there, so. Luckily up here it's not snowing. As of right now, anyways. Looks a little cloudy, but not enough to where I think it could be snowing right now. Maybe later on, but not right now. Anyways, we'll put the hammer down and make some money. Get some miles behind us. Luckily, we can get out of here before rush hour in Edmonton. We got a bunch of lights here in Edmonton. That's one thing that's part of Canada. And you are out here Speed on the road. Uh, the Canada, you got lights. Pretty much every town you go through, except for Toronto. Well, I don't know about Newfoundland and past Montreal, pretty much, but at least until Montreal, I know. You got lights everywhere. Anyways, let's get rolling. Well, at least get out of town. Well, good evening, good evening, I guess it is. We are just gone through Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Turn left on Boyd Drive. Yep, that's right. Oh, well, it's been a slow start this morning, so here we are. It's already starting to go dark on me, so. Figured we'd do this little short clip here before it's all gone dark and we can't see anything anymore, so. Um, my plan is to go up to Dafo, Saskatchewan for tonight. Turn left on, boy, jump drive. Probably spend the night over there and continue on tomorrow. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, we got another hour and 45 minutes to go till we get there. And now we'll be making it home tomorrow. If nothing goes wrong, right? At least that's what I'm saying. If nothing goes wrong, everything goes according to plan. We will be home tomorrow evening. And we'll be off for two days. Yeah. Gonna spend some time with the family. Probably gonna have to go out on Friday, but... Oh well, that's just the way it goes. I kind of wanted it this way anyways, because that way I can get my truck fixed. And Continue on this road for 148 kilometers. All right, RJ, we will do that. 148 kilometers to the uh, turn off to go to 
that pole. Another five clicks down the road, and that's where the truck stop is. Anyways, let's get down the road, and we'll see you later. Well, guys, we are done. I have made it as far as the full Saskatchewan and I'm calling a day I'm tired yes I got uh, still got about 700 kilometers in and I got 620 kilometers to go tomorrow and then I'll be in Winnipeg yeah anyways I'm gonna go to bed so I hope to see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thank you very much for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.